He loitered here, he loitered there, till he was like to drop. Until at last, in sheer despair, he sought a barber's shop. Here, shave my beard and whiskers off. I'll be a man of mark. I'll go and do the Sydney top at home that I embark. The barber man was small and flush as barbers mostly are. He wore the strike, your fancy sash, he smoked a huge cigar. He was a humorist of note, a keen at repartee. He lay the odds and kept a tote, whatever that may be. And when he saw our friends arrive, he whispered, Here's a lark. Just watch me catch him all alive, this man from Ibrock. There were some guilty youths that sat along the barber's wall. Their eyes were dull, their heads were flat, they had no brains at all. <laughs> to then the barber passed a wink, his next to eyelid shut. I'll make this bloomin' yokel think his bloomin' throat is cut. <laughs> and as he soaked and rubbed it in, he made a rude remark. I suppose the flats are pretty green up there with I but a grunt was all reply. He got his shave to push his chin. They made the water boiling hot and dipped the razor in. He raised his arm, his brow grew black. He paused a while to gloat, then slashed the red hot razor back across his victim's throat. Upon the newly shaven skin, he made a livid mark. No doubt it fairly took a hymn, the man for my mark. He fetched a wild up country girl, my wait for dead to hear. And though his throat he knew full well was cut from ear to ear, he struggled gamely to his feet and faced the murderous foe. You've done for me, you dog I beat, one hit before I go. I only wish I had to die for you, blessed virgin shark. But you'll remember all your life, the man from my embark. He lifted up his hairy paw with one tremendous clout. He landed on the barber's jaw and knocked the barber out. He set to work with down and tooth, he made a place for it. He grabbed the nearest guilty youth and tried to break his neck. And all the time while his throat he held to save the vital spot. Murder, blow murder, yelled the man from my buck. A peeled man who heard the din came in to see the show. He tried to run the bush for him, but he refused to go. And when at last the barber spoke and said, Twas all in fun, twas all a little harmless joke, a trifle overdone. A joke? He cried, By George, that's fine, a lively sort of luck. I'd like to catch that murdering swine tonight in my heart. And all around the shearing floors and this thick shearer's scope, he tells the story all and all and grabs up his scope. The barber chaps what he could hope to find George had enough. One tried to cut my balloon and quite but thank the Lord, it's tough. Whether he's believed or no, there's one thing to remark. That flowing beards are more to go way up in the way in <laughs>